Recently, there have been no new local cases of COVID-19. But for Chun Hung Yeo, director of the Center for Storage Management of Bacterial Viral Strains of Shanghai Municipal CDC, this was an especially anxious time. Developments in the microscopic world of the virus were moving in a disturbing direction. This is the SARS-CoV-2 virus sample dispatched by Pudong New Area CDC. The moment a sample arrives, Chun Hung Yeo and his colleagues get to work testing it. Two years into the pandemic, it was becoming clear that COVID-19's initial clash with humanity in early 2020 was merely the opening salvo. Humanity had to face up to the fact that the mutability of SARS-CoV-2 would make the ongoing pandemic one of the most complex public health crises in history. Using all available scientific resources and expertise to contain the virus would be more important than ever. As early as 1974, the World Health Organization began promoting the expanded program on immunization around the world. Across the globe, forces were being joined to build an immunity barrier against infectious diseases. With the rapid progress made in vaccine development, most countries around the world have made it an urgent priority to roll out COVID-19 vaccination plans. Aki gyors, az életet ment, aki lassú, az életet veszít. Posle первого укола, после первой при температура была у нее 38. For those getting their jabs during this period, priority at such facilities goes to people over 60 years old. I hope everyone can be able to get the vaccine when they get the vaccine. By the end of March 2021, China was producing around 5 million doses of vaccine per day. The completion of its nationwide COVID-19 vaccination program was in sight. China's immunity barrier against the pandemic was about to become a reality. Beijing was one of the first cities in China to roll out a vaccination program. By March 2021, the city had administered almost 8 million doses of vaccine. The time had now come to extend the vaccination initiative to people aged 60 and above. Now they would have the added burden of reassuring a more risk-averse age group, allaying fears about side effects and chronic underlying conditions. This is Ms. Li's third visit to Feng Tai District's largest vaccination station. With several health issues to worry about, she's understandably hesitant to take the plunge and get the vaccine. 
情况平稳吗？如果平稳就可以。哦，好好好好，需要再去查一下，看看七三七。因为咱们打疫苗是自愿嘛，居民他有疑惑，我们就解惑呗。嗯，他他呢心里没有疑惑了，他自然就会打。Zhang Ying is a doctor at Jingta Community Hospital in Fengtai District. When universal vaccination began, she was put in charge of consultation at the vaccination stations. We mainly care about the 2 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 
was on hand. Epidemic prevention measures were instantly in motion. Emergency epidemiological investigation identified the source of the infection and placed close contacts under collective quarantine. Thanks to the timely measures and the comprehensive implementation of the vaccine program, the outbreak took less than two weeks to extinguish. But nipping the outbreak in the bud was no reason for Pang Xinghua to slack off. How to make the prevention and control system even better? Pang Xinghua accordingly adjusted the areas and levels of targeted prevention and control. As of 12th, 2021, the situation in Beijing stood as follows. 37,818,900 doses out of a national total of 1.8 billion. Meanwhile, more than 4.3 billion vaccine doses had been administered globally. But with the war against the pandemic being complicated by the emergence of mutant strains, the already world-beating pace of vaccination had to step up even more. According to a study carried out by the Technion Israel Institute of Technology, for every 20% increase in vaccinated people, the rate of positive tests in unvaccinated population showed a two-fold decrease. Studies also showed that in the UK, between January and September 2021, the risk of death involving COVID-19 was 32 times higher in the unvaccinated population than in the fully vaccinated population. But there's nothing easy about keeping the COVID-19 pandemic in check. For one thing, keeping pace with the dramatic increase in demand for vaccine has challenged the productive capacities of all countries. At the height of the pandemic, U.S. pharmaceutical giant Pfizer announced that it would scale down supplies of vaccine to the EU. Meanwhile, British company AstraZeneca signaled its intention to reduce vaccine doses delivered to the EU to about 40% of the original projected target. Like other countries, China also needed to satisfy domestic demand whilst meeting its international assistance obligations. This created a situation whereby vaccines were administered almost as soon as they were produced. Virtually nothing was held in reserve. From building the world's largest production plant for inactivated COVID-19 vaccine in 60 days, to setting up fully automated production lines capable of producing 2,000 doses of vaccine a minute, to building vaccine stock solution bases in 15 countries. China's vaccine production has gone from strength to strength. But projected capacity is one thing, actual production quite another. Overcoming this gap has been the supreme challenge for each and every vaccine producer. Since China ramped up vaccine production in January 2021, Wang Shui-sung and his colleagues have been working around the clock. To give themselves a welcome break from the stresses and strains of the day, they've agreed not to talk about work during their lunch break. 
but that's easier said than done. The emergence of COVID-19 community transmission triggered a new outbreak in a foreign city with a population of 10 million, over 1,000 new confirmed cases in a single day. That's led to a surge in demand for the vaccine. For Wang Shui Sung, that means 48 hours to fulfill an order of 20 million doses. According to the good manufacturing practice of drugs, vaccine production work areas must not contain more than 20 dust particles larger than 0.5 micrometers for every cubic meter of air. Furthermore, to make sure dust particles in the air do not contaminate the vaccine, staff must avoid moving with excessive force and speed. Fortunately, the aseptic filling facility for the COVID-19 vaccine has been fully automated. 16 hoses simultaneously inject vaccine solution into the borosilicate glass vials, enabling production of up to 600 doses of vaccine per minute. Once the vaccine is in the specially made borosilicate glass vials, production staff will check the vaccine several times. The automatic light inspection machine is critical to this process. Each vial of vaccine is inspected by the machine to make sure there are no foreign objects larger than 50 micrometers, which is only half the thickness of an ordinary A4 paper. Once inspected and certified, the vaccine can then proceed to the final step of the production phase, packaging. Each dose of vaccine has its own QR code that carries information such as production date and vaccine number. This way, each dose of vaccine can be traced back to its source. After many days of non-stop effort, Wang Shui-sung and his colleagues have completed the order of 20 million doses on schedule. With the hope that humanity can win the battle against COVID-19, vaccine production lines have been working around the clock that means everyone on the line is dealing with a huge workload. Dozens of vaccine manufacturers in China have now stepped up production. From tens of millions to hundreds of millions, the production of COVID-19 vaccines keeps on increasing. On May 26, 2021, the ambassador of Argentina to China paid a visit to the Beijing Institute of Biological Products, which is affiliated with Sinopharm. As the first vaccine manufacturer to build a COVID-19 vaccine production line, Sinopharm is renowned for its production capacity, reliability and high quality. In fact, it's just the partner Argentina is looking for in its fight against the pandemic. Five days later, an event demonstrating China's commitment to treating vaccines as a global public good was officially announced at Beijing Institute of Biological Products. China joining COVAX 
and WHO approving the Sinopharm inactivated COVID-19 vaccine for emergency use are two moves that bring with them great responsibility. Sinopharm worked tirelessly to increase COVID-19 vaccine production capacity. Within 15 months after the completion of the first production facility on April 15, 2020, the second and third inactivated vaccine production facilities were completed at an astonishing speed, each step bringing the dream of equitable global vaccine distribution closer to realization. Nonetheless, global data showed a huge gap between vaccine production and demand. As of April 2021, only 780 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines had been administered globally, while 2.5 billion people had yet to be vaccinated at all. To build an immunity barrier for all humanity, the situation remained dire. Uh, we are going out for the 18 to 45 years of age. I haven't been vaccinated. So I think In the face of the threat posed by this invisible enemy, someone needed to stand up and lead the charge in the fight against COVID-19. As early as October the 8th, 2020, China announced its official participation in COVAX. In 2021, China pledged to provide 2 billion doses of vaccine for the world within the year, lighting a beacon of life for countries heavily hit by the pandemic. In today's globalized world, no country or region can safely stand alone in the battle against COVID-19. From the end of the epidemic in Wuhan to November 2021, China has suffered more than 30 local cluster outbreaks, all caused by imported cases. So, how to create an immunity barrier for all of humanity by means of the vaccine? The Chinese government and researchers are working ceaselessly to develop reliable and effective vaccines against COVID-19 and are committed to sharing the vaccines with the world to build a global community of health for all. By the beginning of 2021, the Phase 3 clinical trial had been completed, clearing the way for the rollout of the China-manufactured inactivated vaccine locally. <laughs> In February 2021, the vaccine from China arrived in Islamabad, the capital of Pakistan, the first batch of vaccine aid provided by the Chinese government to foreign countries. Once again, you have demonstrated that our friendship is an all-weather tested friendship. We've always stood with each other through thick and thin in difficult times, and this is a difficult time. Xi Jinping Zhu Zhuji, from the beginning, just said, 疫苗是国际公共产品，世卫组织也一直倡导在疫苗的问题上，专利也好，产权也好，就号召大家要把这个放弃。大家一定要联合起来，不光是中国人民联合起来，全世界人民要联合起来。Beautiful bell grade and an even more beautiful birthday gift. Ja sam danas uputio posebno pismo, jer mnogo toga očekujemo i najveće nade polažemo u jedine koji mogu da nam pomognu. U ovoj teškoj situaciji to je Narodna Republika Kina. Faced with thousands of confirmed cases per day at the peak and more than 50,000 cumulative cases, Serbian President Aleksandar Vucic turned to China for help on March the 15th, 2020. The call for assistance received, China leapt into action. Within just nine days, medical supplies such as masks and nucleic acid testing reagents were winging their way to Serbia, together with a team of epidemic prevention experts ready to offer additional emergency support. After 82 days support from two expert teams, a vast quantity of epidemic prevention supplies and tens of millions of doses of vaccine aid, the situation in Serbia was alleviated. On March the 5th, 2021, 
A batch of 500,000 doses of vaccine was handed over to Serbian President Aleksandar Vucic, which just happened to be his 51st birthday. In fact, this was the third batch of vaccine provided by China in just two months. By mid-2021, more than 800,000 people in Serbia had received two doses of the vaccine. We are the first country in Europe that is getting uh, such a huge quantity of vaccines and I'm proud that uh, as a president of Serbia, of Serbia we succeeded to get one million doses for 500,000 people which is a big part of big part of our population and it will save a lot of people's lives. But the path to building a global community of health for all never did run smooth. Breaking through the bottleneck of vaccine production capacity, for example, highlighted another huge problem. How to get large quantities of vaccine where they are needed, safely and on time. The storage and transport of COVID-19 vaccines have very strict requirements with regard to temperature. Keeping vaccines at a constant temperature over long distances is a challenge vaccine producers the world over have to address. Storage and transportation requirements for the various COVID-19 vaccines produced worldwide differ. For example, the storage temperature of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine is minus 20 degrees Celsius, while that for the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine is mind-boggling minus 70 degrees Celsius. By contrast, China's inactivated vaccines can be stored at temperatures as high as 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Though the storage and transportation requirements for China's inactivated vaccine are relatively undemanding, it has been a monumental challenge to put in place the storage and transport technology, yet China has succeeded in creating a supply chain that holds good even in countries where climate and transport conditions are far from ideal. Chu Zhu Ge is a specialist in vaccine transportation. Ever since storage and transport of the COVID-19 vaccine began, he's been more or less living in this storage facility. At 10 p.m., Chu Zhu Ge finishes his work and decides to go home. But just as he's on his way home, he receives a new assignment. Due to the international flight adjustment, a batch of the vaccine due to be sent to Azerbaijan and Botswana has to be dispatched tonight. At this juncture, all Chu Zhu Ge and his colleagues can do is knuckle down and do their level best to squeeze several days' work into a few hours. Entering COVID-19 vaccine cold storage is like entering another world. Here, a constant low temperature is maintained, just the right temperature to keep tens of millions of doses of vaccine in tip-top condition. Currently, the internationally accepted storage temperature for vaccines is 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Beyond this temperature range, the effectiveness of vaccines rapidly decreases, perhaps becoming entirely ineffective. According to WHO statistics for 2019, nearly 50% of vaccines worldwide were wasted that year due to improper storage temperature. The temperature range of 2 to 8 degrees Celsius is a red line for inactivated vaccines. There's no room whatsoever for error. Tonight, Chu Zhu Ge has to get vaccine doses that have just come off the production line into cold storage without delay. Next, they'll be packed and sent out according to the strict standards of pharmaceutical cold chain transport. Our 
就是一种呢，就是我们把托盘推到那个箱子里，那个呢叫主动制动形式，就是它是内部有电池，有电量，它可以自己像冰箱一样，啊，去维持空间那个二到八的环境。Active cooling means putting the vaccine in thermostat containers. But in the face of this global pandemic, the number of thermostat containers cannot meet the demand for vaccine transport. So the manufacturers have to opt for passive cooling. Passive cooling does not control the temperature as well as active cooling. So the technicians need to make technical improvements to the core component of passive cooling, the ice pack. With an ice pack capable of remaining frozen at 5 degrees Celsius, vaccines can be maintained at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius for a long time. You look at it when it's made, it's made in every bag, it's made in a wind machine to check its change. It's to say that it's going to be in the back of the bag, 保护好装进去之后封住之后，然后它在整个环境里边，它的变化就会很小。This device monitors the temperature inside the container throughout the entire process, allowing customers to read the temperature changes during cold chain transport on receipt of the vaccine. Thanks to these measures, the vaccine is maintained at a safe temperature all the way through the journey. After a sleepless night, the work is finally completed. It is an unwritten rule for Chu Zhuge's team to rest together in the office after working late at night. The main thing is that the work has been done and the batch of vaccine is on its way to the client. Now, after 20 days away from home, maybe he'll finally get to spend some time with his family. People inevitably face choices in life. Large or small, country or home, giving or taking, there are always people who choose to do the former, to take the more difficult path. As of June the 4th, 2021, China had provided vaccine aid to more than 80 countries and three international organizations through both direct cooperation and international organizations and exported vaccines to more than 40 countries, totaling 350 million doses and had conducted technology transfer and cooperative production with more than 10 developing countries, including Egypt and the United Arab Emirates. Pessoal, ao lado do Jean Gorenstein, Secretary da Saúde do Estado de São Paulo. We are sure that it is safe and also uh, good efficacy. We are confident in that. Yo tengo confianza de que esto es serio, no solamente la vacuna, sino en la intención de que la gente realmente se mantenga. Na, these numbers do show that actually Chinese vaccine research and production is among the most advanced in the world, and the result of the World Health Organization cooperation. So I think the entire uh, process, we receive a lot of thanks and also um, appreciations from the uh, different countries. And even whenever there is a lot of vaccines rich in that country, no matter the president will go to the airport to receive it, they will put their uh, national flag into the, uh, the envirotainer, which is the box of taking the vaccines. So everyone's are seeing the vaccine like, like a whole. So I believe that our company is providing the vaccine to the world, and the safety and safety is provided. The safety is provided. 可担负性也是可以有保障的，最终就体现了习总书记提出的全球公共产品的要求。In mid-April 2021, more than 30 provinces and cities in China began to fully implement vaccination against COVID-19. 
As one of the first cities to begin the vaccination process, Beijing opened up the vaccination program to foreigners. Ebodi is from Indonesia and is a second-year student at the School of Traffic and Transportation of Beijing Jiatong University. After being informed that the school was going to arrange for them to receive the COVID-19 vaccine in a few days, Ebodi, who knew little about the vaccine, asked his mother, a nurse in Indonesia, about what to do before the vaccination. Vaccinating local people with the vaccine produced in China is Abodi's mother's daily job. A few months ago, the inactivated COVID-19 vaccine produced by Sinovac Biotech officially passed phase 3 clinical trials in Indonesia and has since been shipped there in a steady stream. As of June 2021, nearly 100 million local people had been vaccinated. In the face of the Delta variant, the inactivated vaccine produced in China has become a symbol of health and hope. Kita tahu bahwa persentase setelah divaksin Covid menurun dan jangan jangan takut untuk divaksin karena bapak bapak saya itu tuh diberikan vaksin oleh ibu saya karena gimana? Mungkin hal yang romantis ya bagi bagi sepasang suami istri karena ibu saya memberikan foto sebuah foto dan saya merasa saya rasa wah bagus sekali gitu ya ibu ibu saya ya bahagia aja ibu saya bisa memberikan vaksin kepada bapak gitu kepada ayah saya. After listening to his mother's advice, Ebodi prepared himself and joined his classmates as they received the inactivated COVID-19 vaccine. Despite being 5,000 kilometers apart, the vaccine from China is protecting his mother and her child, and also guarding the health and life of countless others around the world. Other people from my country that are in other universities they also get vaccinated. They also pose as like, I already got my vaccine, like that. Saya nyanyi lagu itu ya karena ini untuk untuk apa ya mengobati mengobati apa kondisi kondisi di apa dunia ini ya di dunia ini di dunia ini juga. Rasanya COVID itu nggak berhenti berhenti, rasanya nggak berhenti berhenti dan saya harap, saya harap uh, dunia ini baik menjadi lebih baik gitu ya. Dunia ini bebas dengan COVID, artinya health world, health world adalah uh, sembuhkan dunia ini kita, gitu. <laughs> ya gitu. By July 21st, 2021, more than 300,000 foreigners in China had received more than 500,000 doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. This number continues to grow every day. A lot of my friends in China, I think most of them have already got it done. I wanted to get it done like a month ago. No problem. I'm very happy. I know this vaccination is very good. But though humanity is eager to eradicate the virus, the virus will be equally determined to survive. While the world has been busy building up its lines of defense for more than a year, the virus has been working equally tirelessly, mutating at an increasingly rapid rate and growing more cunning. As of August 14, 2021, the cumulative number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 worldwide had exceeded 205 million and cost the lives of more than 4.33 million people. This tests not only our epidemic prevention systems, but also the effectiveness of vaccines. The battle between the global scientific community and COVID-19 has now entered a new phase.
In August 2021, Chen Hongyou detected a suspected new virus strain in the COVID-19 sample urgently sent from Pudong New Area. Once a suspected mutant strain is found, the CDC must immediately conduct tests to confirm its status. After that, they must work around the clock to obtain the virus's genome. After gene sequencing, Chen Hongyou found different genii loci, setting alarm bells ringing in his mind. In accordance with the national requirements for surveillance of the COVID-19 vaccines, Chen Hongyou immediately sent the sample to the Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention in Beijing for further analysis.第一个大部分就对疫苗的影响啊它的变异会对疫苗有什么影响我们实施在做第二个部分我们会我们诊断试剂有什么影响啊那我们还有一波人对治疗性抗体啊也有大家说研究新的这样治疗性抗体我们都